Hello, fellow fumblers, and welcome to another episode of the Film Fumbler Show. Today we are reviewing. Oh my gosh, I'm so off. Today we're reviewing <laughs> Godfather Part Two, directed by Francis Ford Coppola and released in 1974. So, without further ado, my name is Adrian. I'm Jay. I'm Taryn. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm James. Hi, James. Hi. Yeah, How's I'm just going? not used to being in person, to like looking at you guys look at me. Stare in your, yeah. the windows Should of just your stare soul. at the camera. <laughs> Tell me the details of this movie. Yeah. Um, so we're, today we're drinking a Godfather, mm. appropriately, made by yours truly. If I wanted to learn how to make this drink, where could I go? <laughs> you could go to our YouTube channel, Film Fumblers. Uh, we have a new show coming out, or that's came out, I guess. We have one episode, a yeah. few in production. Uh, it's called Fumbled Not Stirred. And I whip up some drinks mostly related to movies. Oh, so yeah. Learn how to make this guy. It's delicious. Take cheers, it, guys. Take a sip. Cheers. Cheers. Let's cheers. Cheers. Well, cheers, cheers, Adrian. Just know I'm cheersing you. I felt it. From the, yeah. from the other side. Oh, Alonzo? Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mm -hmm. It is a good drink. Cheers. It's tasty. It is. Yeah, I like it a lot. I don't like. What is it? Scotch? Something? Yeah, it's scotch. You don't like scotch? No. But well, it's good. so and that's why I put you know equal parts of the amaretto. It sweetens it up quite a bit. Yeah, it's good. But yeah. All right. So Godfather Part Two. Been a while since we talked about the first one. When was it? Does anyone have? Oh the, my god! It was a long time. It, it was like our ninth episode or something. It was not. No way. No. But it was. It was like maybe teen. Oh no 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 yeah because we weren't doing it live. The first ten were live in person, and I think it was it was it was definitely before fifteen. I think, mm. or maybe it, mean, before it nineteen. Later. I don't know. Might I'll have been. You could be right. But so not our last Coppola movie. We did The Outsiders, which was an abomination. Oh my yeah, it's a bad too, movie. Uh, yeah. So weird that he directed that movie, dude. Was yeah. It was weird. It was episode 16. Six. Wow. Oh, I was close. Six. Now we're on 16. 70, dude. Wow. Oof. 71. Is this? Yeah, 71. I was going to say, isn't 71. this 71? Ooh. 72. Man. 72. Well, this is 72. On that note, 71. how did that feel for everybody to like have that gap between number one and number two? Oh, I wish yeah. it was a you know, sometimes gap. it comes out at the same time. Oh. What? No. Goodbye. <laughs> when you do a number one and a number oh, two. <laughs> and, uh, uh, quite a gap. <laughs> quite a gap. Uh, but like I, like I said earlier, I was watching it with Jacqueline, and um, she was like, well, what happened in the first one? And I was like, oh, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> a whole lot of shit. <laughs> I was like, damn. I was like, that, that yeah. movie was three hours long, too. Yeah. So I was just like, uh, I was like, Michael took the family. <laughs> and she was like, what? Yeah. He's, what, what's the family? And I was like, shit. <laughs> I was like, that's basically what happened. <laughs> like, yeah. And, yeah. And, uh, yeah. But I, for me, like, as soon as the music kind of tingles in and you see bits mm -hmm. of the thing, it all just felt so familiar again. Yeah. And, yeah. like, for the rest of the night, I was just walking around the house, like, with an Italian accent, <laughs> <laughs> talking shit, because it, you, you, it, like, what I realized is that nothing about these movies... I mean, okay, a lot about these movies is beautiful, but there's not really one thing that just stands out as, like, the best part of these movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're just, like, so well-rounded in every aspect that you literally just get sucked into the yeah. to the world, yeah. you yeah. know? And it's not like there's beautiful shots and there's great music and all that stuff, but, like, when it's all together, it yeah. just hits. Yeah. Something about it. Yeah. I said I, I said before the podcast, I was like, I don't know if I could watch the second one without first watching the first one, like how Jacqueline is doing. Yeah. But thinking about that a little bit more, I'm it's not like I'm an expert on the first one. I don't remember all of the characters and how yeah. important they were and like their roles like that well. Yeah. And I think this movie does such a good job at not holding your hand too much, but just you kind of just know the gist of things. Like they'll mm -hmm. say a character's name and you're like, okay, I kind of, you can kind of make that correlation. And it's like, I don't know that. Okay. So you guys just saw the green Knight, and I don't want to get too much into that movie. I haven't even seen it, but <laughs> this is about to be a very different conversation. No, but <laughs> Let's the, go. the criticism that I've seen about that movie is that it doesn't explain enough. There's not like enough explanation. And I don't know that there's that much explanation in the Godfather part two. You kind of just, go through the motions with the film and you you just start, kind of start to understand this world without them having to explain because there's a lot of time gaps i mean this movie what takes place from 1902 to like the 1960s 
so there's there's a good amount of time that's gone through and and yeah. i followed along pretty okay i think dude yeah. i was so lost i was like not in the right mood for this movie oh I think. man oh Damn. no that's that's gonna especially like the part that threw me off the most was when they go from the intermission to the court scene i was like what happened like i didn't like why are they in court like is this I in feel, the past like what's going on no i feel like they like for me that was just that was kind of just like all right we're just we skipped ahead they're in court and like he's finally being charged for for being a, a mob boss you know and yeah so Some i don't shady, know it, it kind of worked I, for me it kind of worked it, i didn't need it explained i think there was one yeah, character that was in the court that i was like or in the courtroom scene that i was like didn't that guy die in the first one? I was like, oh my God, when did this take place? And like, I don't know. I was so fucking <laughs> yeah. lost, dude. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. At first it was, yeah. I, I could I could see how that would be jarring. But but I think I agree with Adrian where it just, I don't know. It didn't need to hold your hand through it. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like, I don't know. You just get so engulfed in it. And I think even though like there was some time between when we watched the first one and this one, even when like they mentioned like, certain names like you're, it, it like, yeah let a whole wave of Besides just the click again. things like back into yeah. your head because i yeah. was like oh well that that guy this he did this and he did that and, and that's yeah. the thing like the the movie the movies are long right and yeah like, they are it's very character based you're talking to a lot of characters you're meeting a lot of characters so a lot of yeah. names the fact that it is long kind of gives you that space to like by the end of the movie, you're like, oh, fucking, uh, you know, Frankie over here, motherfucker, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Every time you kind of learn it and, and it yeah. starts to make more sense. But there was a disconnect in remembering, or it just took me a while to remember who was who and who was left and all that shit, mm -hmm. you know? Right. But it was, uh, I thought it was very well put together. And like you said, it's it doesn't hold your hand through it. It gives you enough to, like, have it work. Yeah. But I think it also just... You know, comparing to the Green Knight is like the Green Knight is like very abstract and this I haven't like, seen it. I, maybe that was a bad comparison, but no, I'm no, just it's saying. a good it's it's a good in the sense of like why people are so polarized over that movie mm -hmm. versus this movie, which is still complicated to an extent. Yeah. 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 But it does a better job of like bringing everybody along. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't even know if it's a better job. It's just it's real life. So it's easier to understand. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a different it's story not, completely. Yeah, like, right. It's not like visually the like what is happening. It's like, oh, there's real. people talking. Like you can understand it. Right. Yeah. 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 But I do think they're equally as <laughs> not <laughs> understandable. <laughs> they're equally as huh. complex. Um, yeah. Well, okay. So to kind of stay on that note, like seeing old characters young, which could kind of trip you up a bit, you know, like seeing Clemenza, I remember when we we were first introduced Clemenza. He's the bigger guy, right? Yeah. Like seeing him as a young Clemenza really worked. Like the actor that played him just did it so well that you just felt that. I don't know. I I like See, knew I who he was right away. Really? <laughs> oh man, I don't know. That landed for me. I was like, oh yeah, it just yeah. I don't know. It worked. I think all the people that they showed from the you know from the first one worked mm -hmm. mostly even de niro has oh de niro god. surprised me so much maybe maybe surprise is the wrong word i like you didn't like i'm looking at james's face uh, you didn't I like don't, de niro i don't know i like, don't speak italian which he speaks primarily sicilian so yeah. it's a different type of italian it's a different dialect yeah. Di dialect yeah. yes um i don't fucking know i can't since i don't speak the language i guess i'm just like yeah sure that's what a guy sounds like that speaks that language so i can't tell if he's bad at acting in that language mm. that he doesn't speak a ton he didn't speak it he only he only like studied it for four months what mm. no like i mean he, but all like most of his lines yeah. were in Sicilian. But then the thing that got me, which was like kind of even worse, was he was trying to do the Rathby voice, oh, and yeah. then he dropped it halfway. And the thing was is that Marlon Brando he made up that voice in 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 he made it up saying that it that he got shot in the throat, and so that he has like that kind oh, of oh, is that the story? Voice. That's the story behind oh. the voice. It's like he wouldn't have gotten shot yet. Yeah, he didn't get shot. Well, he like he he juggled in between. Yeah, like talk me talking to you like this, and then me talking to you like this, like one second later, like it just it, <laughs> yeah. it was kind of I don't know. I don't know. At first, I, I thought know. it was kind of cheesy, but as it went on, I was like, "Nah, this is really like cool. it was fine. Like it was fine for like for for everything else around it. It wasn't that big of like a 
strike right. yeah. for me, That's to be honest. Because I took that as like he was coming into the role of yeah. like being this ass, you know, having to be like this badass, but an asshole. Yeah. And faking the voice. And, like, but as like, he was like, no, he had the character of Vito, right? Like, which was cool. We got to see his backstory, kind of what happened. How did he mm-hmm. become this Rise. Like, mob ruler? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And like as he's rising, when he's transitioning and like telling that, other guy like fuck off and let this lady keep her dog and all that shit yeah like he leans into that voice a little more after that and i just took it as like he's going like in you know what i mean like he's embracing this this power that he's getting or something i don't know yeah i never noticed it flop off but i noticed it flop on yeah um, i agree with you jay i think it was like it was a slow transition towards that I didn't see really? it like being I turned feel like on it and off. Started high and it was really bad, and then it just kind of went away towards the end. Oh, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm. I think I. I think that he did actually use like a mouth, like a small version of the mouthpiece, because you know how Marlon Brando <laughs> actually had a, yeah. a dental fixture or whatever to make his jaw like that and to talk like that. Uh-huh. So they used like a smaller version of that, so it wasn't obviously as exaggerated. But at the very, you know, his last scenes, like as. Vito is older and from the younger self. If that's not confusing enough, he you see that, and I, that's where I saw the voice change the most personally. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. I, I agree with that. But maybe I wasn't looking for it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I guess at the beginning it was noticeable, and then it just went away. So maybe, maybe it's there. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. But well, speaking of him, dude, that was, his rise, like that whole set, like half of the movie, was like the part that I was vibing with the most. Oh yeah, it was so interesting and like so cool. Seeing him start like as this like family man and then just start taking over and like fuck this guy is treating all these people all bad and like taking over like that was yeah. the coolest part for me. Yeah. And I think I think it goes well with I mean, it's just the whole movie is about juxtaposition between what Michael's doing, what he thinks is the right thing to do, mm-hmm. whereas what his father would have done and why yeah. why he did the things that he did. And I think that's that's what makes it marry together so well yeah but controversial take Uh uh-oh in in a in a a part of me even though i really like this movie a part of me thinks maybe it didn't need to exist Hmm. it could have been two movies (laughs) honestly yeah that that too but it is two movies i think i know but like the (laughs) second part two could have probably been two different Godfather movies. zero the the prequel and Godfather the sequel Father zero yeah. Yeah. yeah but i think but i think it, it even if it i think it being in the same movie it helps you it, compare it's them, right? yeah it, it's, oh yeah it's, no yeah you're it, right. it's like it's to compare that much more but i think yeah. even though i did like this movie so much i think something that's so unique about the first one is the entire character arc of michael you already see i i think you get enough of veto in the in the very limited scenes that he has in the first movie, mm-hmm. that you see that he's all about uh, helping the community and doing that stuff, yeah. even though he's doing it the wrong way. Right. And then Michael wants to do it the right way, but you see, like, you see how he didn't even want to have anything to do with the family, and he gets fucking drag drug along. But then it's just a giant spiral, and I think that is like so fucking perfect mm-hmm. that the second one just keep spiraling and spiraling and spiraling that almost doesn't show you anything that you don't already know. Right. Yeah, I guess that's, I guess I could see that. In but a way. I don't know, but it, even the, though it's good, even though yeah, I like it, at the same but time, I don't I was know just, if, it, if it was like I feel necessary. Like, I agree. I feel like it, I don't know. It's just I don't like, know, a, is it controversial not take? Not <laughs> I don't yeah. think so. <laughs> no, but I don't know. I was just so, down for the journey and like yeah, to see yeah. and so that's why I'm like you're right that the the first one did kind of say like yeah Vito was like created into this mob boss and then we see Michael who kind of is created into this mob boss but it yeah. doesn't dive too deep into how and yeah. that's what this movie kind of tied together it, yeah. it built those gaps and it kind of showed you like this is this is how it all started and it, yeah. I don't know it was just so much fun and yeah. I agree with what Taryn said is like the following young Vito was like a lot more engaging for I, me. I, I, I like, I, I love the immigrant story. I love, I, yeah. I, I, I just, the, the visual of it, just, mm-hmm. yeah. just being in that, it felt like, I'm like, how the fuck did they make this movie? Yeah. I don't know. I literally don't understand. Like 
was this all on sets? Was this shot on location somewhere? Like, I was like, kind of like, damn, was mind blown about some of the shit that I saw. Like, I was like, what? This is kind of crazy. Yeah, there was parts that I would look at the background like, damn, well, they got all these cars and they made sure not to like get any new ones. And it's like a big ass street they drive down and like, yeah. they close it all off. I was mm -hmm. like, wow, movies are crazy. And like, and like and the, the buildings, everything. Like it just, yeah, yeah, just insane, insane. I read that they even went as so far as to like some of the pants in um, from the older scenes had zippers on them so they had to kind of like I, th I don't know if they reshot things but zippers weren't invented then so they like oh literally gosh. had pants like with just buttons uh, you know well. because it just <laughs> that's yeah, funny those little attention to yeah, detail things little details yeah but okay so talking about the juxtaposition between the two stories like you were saying yeah i just loved how it would show Vito. He was getting his hands dirty. He was going to the places himself and killing people himself. And like, and then it jumps back to Michael and he's just like in the shadows, like, all right, go do that, do this. And like well, getting because, betrayed yeah. and stuff. And like, no one like respects him. Like they did Vito because he did everything. Yeah. And I yeah. think like we're seeing Michael's character who has already become the Don, you know? So it, it, it didn't show too much of like him really getting his hands dirty because that was kind of the end of the part one, you know, where like he, you know, the, the end scene where he closes the door on his wife and like, he's like in five years, we're going to be completely legit legitimate. Yeah. Yeah. And he's still going through it seven years later, but you know, it, he was already the Don. So, but he never, you're like, right. He didn't, he, maybe he didn't earn it. Quote unquote, earn it as much as uh, Vito did, but he, but I think that's that. part of the story is that that relationship that he, holds in the family where he's like the brother that has to keep shit moving yeah and it was given to him and he didn't have to take it like yeah no, it, I know. you know yeah. yeah and it's interesting but he had his own version of that like because he yeah. went to the military or whatever and like yeah probably did some shit you know it's not really clear but like he knows enough about you know people in other places fighting like when they go to cuba and he's like oh yeah worried about the revolution and yeah. there's that line where he's like like oh uh, yeah roth is like why are you afraid of these guys and he's like well the other side gets paid like or he's yeah. like how how are they gonna win and he's like because they want it you know basically like yeah. they yeah. want it more you don't get yeah. paid yeah right and I, he probably saw that firsthand like in his military experience so he just has like uh, a I didn't, different realm of i didn't i didn't even see it like that i thought i thought he was just like kind of alluding to People who are gonna uprise against him, he doesn't want anybody to do that to him. Mm. I'm sure there's like his his, his, been, his yeah, in Mexican. group, you know, his in group. That's why he's yeah. so willing to just start dropping flies like he does the right. way he does, you know. Right. And he does cross that line, you know, which is probably arguably harder than just killing somebody that you don't know is having somebody that you do know kill, yeah. right? Right. Like calling the hit on your brother and shit. That's it's, gotta be. It, and that's where the juxtaposition is so fucking crazy because you see you see how Vito would do anything for family in the beginning Sonny gets killed or the first movie Sonny gets killed and he doesn't even want to retaliate he doesn't want anything to do with that yeah. he's like fucking let it be gone let's just yeah let's just be where we're at and everyone's like oh you're soft you're going soft this shit this is not but like when you see the the scenes of like when when Fredo or I don't know if it was Fredo or if it was Sonny who had uh, the flu or pneumonia. Oh, I think and it was little, Fredo. It was Fredo. Baby's like yeah. crying yeah. and like he's like wants to do anything for um for his kids. And then right. could you imagine as a father your kids wanting to kill each other? <laughs> could you imagine that? Yes. That's I can't even imagine being crazy. a father. Yeah. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. But no, yeah, and that that like really it's, it's it's deep. It's it's dark. It's heavy. It's a heavy thing mm -hmm. to think about. Yeah, like when you see, when you just see that. Yeah, for sure. And there's a and and I think that's just like the. Like I get what Tan is saying about. Vito's like went out there and got his hands dirty and stuff mm -hmm. and now it's just like a different game you know it's a different right. game yeah and it's and it's weird and it's cool the comparisons are cool but yeah. even yeah i don't know some of the scenes like where Vito goes to that old guy in italy and they're talking about the olive oil business oh yeah. man yeah and he just whispers in his ear and 
fucking rips his. <laughs> Dude, that was so open, cheesy. Dude. That was so weird. It was that like, was could you stab someone like that? I don't know. Wouldn't it like hit <laughs> like signature move, like, bro? Just wouldn't it up, hit dude? stuff? <laughs> like it wouldn't. Like you wouldn't be able to. <laughs> How sharp is that knife? That's dude? a sharp oh, long yeah. yeah. But I mean, okay. So like that was the thing. Is like Vito was was down to go so far for the family. Like that guy killed his mom, killed his dad, killed his brother. Yeah. <laughs> so like I don't know what I'm getting at. <laughs> no, I'm trying to no, paint. Yeah. I'm trying to paint Vito as a better person. No, he, he, he was, was. kind of fucking crazy too. <laughs> because I mean, like, dude, when he killed that one homie, shot his ass, and then stuck the. I was oh, like, he's oh dead, God, Vito, yeah. bro. He shot yeah. him in the mouth. I, I was he, like, that was a yikes, tense. bro. I was like, you don't need, I was like, he's you're dead. trying to pin this as a suicide or something, and then he just paused it again. No. And just leaves. Like, Jeez, that was it, was, it was a suicide. He shot himself three times. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. No. <laughs> Dude, that Fuck. scene was actually beautiful. Where he walks in and dims all the ball, light. Yeah. And then he comes yeah. up and fixes it. And He's all flicking in. And yeah. stuff. Dude, yeah. and Yuck. that's oh, one so thing good. that I know so little about is lighting and film. But, like, you just you watch a film like this and you just know it's done so masterfully. Yeah. Like, everything yeah, just yeah. feels so. I don't know. It just feels so perfect. Yeah. Like it just really, really works. The train, yeah. the train scenes where they're filming oh. outside the train, inside the train. I love just the like trains. Crazy. Yeah. Another great one is uh, when Michael's in the bedroom and his wife's sleeping and he's like, why are these blinds open? And then they get oh blasted when he's crawling away and you see him in the mirror and his body in the mirror gets full of holes, but he doesn't. Oh, I didn't notice yeah. that. Yeah. It's a sick shot. It's Ooh. awesome. As he's calling it, like perfectly lines his body in the mirror. Yeah. And he like makes it out. Dude, so I, I read an interesting thing about that scene. So you know how Fredo was the traitor, right? He was the one and he tells he tells Michael, like, I, I didn't know it was gonna be a hit. I didn't know it was gonna be a hit. So the blinds were already open, like right. when they went into the bedroom, and Kay asks, She's like, Why are the blinds open? So whoever was the traitor, like intentionally left those blinds open so the assassin could yeah. have a clear shot at what he was going for so fredo yeah. maybe knew a little bit more than what he let off on but like coincidentally that is why he survived too because he saw the hit coming like he he had that split second to react and to kind of yeah. take cover yeah, yeah. oh man crazy the whole movie is fucking crazy jay does making a movie focused on lighting change your the way you watch this movie Oh yeah, of course. When I don't know what I'm doing to begin with, like, <laughs> it was hard enough to figure that shit out. And watching, yeah, that scene, is, especially with the bulb, I was like, Jesus, like, oh, yeah, man. this is good. It's good because you know it. Yeah, it's all. Smoke and it, and but it's so clever too. It's like it's really just, it's, it's just like and for the part time, of the part of the action. Yeah, mm -hmm. for the time too, it's beautiful. There was a lot of things I saw that were like, okay, there's that one shot where they're back in Italy. And they're all coming down that like ramp into that kitchen. Do you remember this scene? The camera just follows them down the ramp past the wall into mm. the kitchen. There's mm. two big windows in the back and you just see them kind of line up against the table. It's a great fucking shot. Oh, but it's those little deep, like those yeah. little yeah. things where it's just like, you're like, oh, okay, there's Italy going to fucking dinner. No, <laughs> like getting that to happen is like a whole ass thing. You that's, know? And that's what I was like, okay, so like you said for the time. See, like, I don't think I have, like, enough bearing of, mm, yeah. like, movie. What? Like, how did they do this at the time? Was this crazy? Is it crazy? I don't fucking yeah, know. Dude. I don't know. <laughs> shot on because film. I don't have, like, enough. Dude, they shot it on film. They shot it's it on, on film. film. And like, all they, the lights at that time, you don't have LEDs that can fucking change colors. Yeah. You have, like, bulbs <laughs> and the sun. Yeah. You shoot film, and it's gone forever. Like, yeah. you're paying for it. You have, yeah. like, one you're chance. Yeah. There's, I was nuts. listening to this podcast at some point in the week. They're talking about doing test shots for film for some movie. And uh, this guy was like, oh, how many feet of film did you shoot? And in one day they shot, like, it was like 18,000 feet of film oh just to my test. God. Just to <gasps> test. And then, then they were talking about, I think it was like back in this era, there was a director or something that made a movie that's like really well done, critically acclaimed. Mm -hmm. The entire movie is shot on 18,000 feet of film. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I, I read the same uh, one. It was John Ford. I can't remember the movie. But okay. John Ford shot yeah. the movie. 18,000. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's nuts. It's insane. Wow. They, they were so good back then. 
we, we yeah. suck so bad. <laughs> For sure. And now with digital, oh you have God. like a bunch of takes and you can change shit and it's not a big deal. Yeah. Damn, we suck. Back then, you had <laughs> like a few suck. tries. And I've, I've heard, I think it was, I think it was Coppola. It might have been Stanley Kubrick, but I think it was Coppola. They were, it was a podcast between, I think it was Matt Damon was talking about that new movie. Oh, Somewhere. yeah, yeah. And he talked about when he met Coppola for something, and they did a movie, and they ba- he basically gives everybody, like, one take. Like, the actors and everything. He's like, wow. they'd get one, and they'd cut and move on. And that's all, he, that's all Dude, he does. if that's true for this movie, The Godfather Part Two, <laughs> best acting of all time. Like, I, it's, I there's no like, way. Well, there's definitely, like, multiple. I mean, there, there are like multiple takes, but there's probably not 500 takes, right, you know, yeah, like yeah, we yeah, could yeah. do so easily today. I think it's yeah. that good with that few takes. That's incredible. Yeah, that's and he doesn't insane. like to do a lot. That's insane. And you can't do a lot. You don't have the fucking money. You don't have the... And this went over way over budget, right? Like, I, I think it, it, they million? built it at like six million and it ended up at like 12, wow. 11 or 12 million. Yeah, so wow. almost double. Like, all his movies go over budget. Apocalypse Now, like, went like... And then they all do budget. great. Yeah. So it like hardly matters. Yeah. But still, he's trying. Yeah. Well, he didn't even... Conserve. He didn't want to do Godfather Part Two. He didn't want to direct it. Like, they had to... Oh, no. There was all kinds of stipulations where he was like, okay, well... If I'm gonna do this movie, then X, Y, and Z needs to happen. And like they were like, okay, like like they gave him any anything he wanted. So I would imagine maybe they were a little looser with the budget, just because of how well the the, the first what part. What the X, Y, and Zs? Um, I think it was like, w- like to deal with other projects. So like direct and work on other projects, other movies, mm. not even just within this film. Yeah. But to talk about the hype, or excuse me, to talk about like how the reason that the second one was even in the reason it was made was like the first one had so much hype that they were like, we're making part two before the first one was finished filming. Oh wow. Like they, they just knew that this is, mm. this is going to work. And wow. I mean, it, it did. And that's I, the crazy thing is like, I thought generally that they didn't know it was going to work because the, the novel wasn't really relatively known and it was kind of, it was uh, definitely, it was I, of, I would assume it was towards the ending of filming and towards, you know, or, or maybe, filming was done but it before release or some you know but Mm. the fact of the matter is that there was a lot of hype built around the first one and the second one was already like yep we're gonna gonna make part two do you guys know is part two still in that book or set of books is it still based on something yeah there are certain certain aspects so like the black hand is that that his name yeah the black hand uh was supposed to be as well, thing. <laughs> <As well. Sorry. laughs> it's probably from the Godfather. It's yeah. probably definitely, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, he was supposed to be some kind of character in the first oh, really? movie. Yeah, yeah, and I think that um, a lot of the part two was like a lot of the script was rewritten and stuff and like moved around a lot, but still based off of the novel. Okay, that's what I was wondering because yeah. I saw that it would Francis Ford whatever got Coppola, yeah. way more freedom in this one so i was like oh is it still based on something is he just writing the whole thing yeah i think i mean i think technically still based on it but a lot changed okay he, i think he had a lot more freedom on this one That's well cool. and the continuity aspect like the uh marlon brando they wanted him he was hired yeah, yeah. to shoot for one dude day. i wanted him to come out at the end so i was bad. so uh, we he were all waiting to for him in that scene when he yeah. what happened birthday he never showed up he just, he, he just well, it he was, was hired he, and then he was like, fuck this. I, I think it was up. like he yeah. d- he didn't get along with a lot of the crew or like just the, the production yeah. or whatever. Like it was it was kind of a thing like it was a spite, it was Yeah, a it was a spiteful ditch. thing. He was yeah. like, yeah. I'm not going to go. He and wasn't so, just like, oh, I don't, I don't want to make it today. It was like, no, fuck you guys. Coppola rewrote the scene that day and they just shot it. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was fine. Yeah, I, I it think worked. it worked. It I actually thought he totally was something. I was like, why I mean, isn't he here? It would have been cool to Yeah, I thought he was dead too. I was like, he's dead. It would have been cool to see him. But that ending scene is amazing. Well, it, the it sequence, really is the whole sequence. Yeah, but that scene in particular, where and from it's a camera perspective, it. it's like mm-hmm. it's the table. All you see is the room and the table. Yeah, and everybody comes in, and Mike's alone at first, and everybody sits down, and they introduce, and they start talking, and then he tells them what he did, and he was going to the military, and they're all yeah. pissed, and then one by one, everybody kind of leaves him. And then his dad gets there and everybody leaves, right? And then it's just back to Michael alone at the table. Yeah. And you yeah. hear them saying surprise, but you don't see him interacting with them. Yeah. And that was like 
powerful for the you know wrapping all of this into like mm -hmm. yeah here's how he here's where he was before he went to the military and here's where he is now and then it goes right into the shot of him just sitting on the bench like Alone. where the movie really ends Alone. Where he's just looking old yeah. like and and much and older old. so yeah. that wasn't right after the the Frito death scene. That's that was, what. Yeah. That's what was weird in this movie. How fucking old they looked. I was like, damn. They must have got like hella cash from Godfather One. They were doing all kinds of drugs <laughs> back in the seventies. <laughs> I was like, these people look like shit. But was it intentional? Were the, they intentionally the, the very aged ending up? scene. Yeah. But in the beginning, the, the even like in the beginning of the movie, I was like, damn, they look fucking old. Hmm. Like Tom was all balding. I was like, damn, homie, yeah. what happened to your hair? Oh, I mean, oh, see, if I there's one remember. thing we know about this movie is that being a mob boss is stressful. That's I mean, what I was. <laughs> Wondering, that's yeah. what, but but I thought it was because of like the Hollywood, like they were doing yeah. cocaine no and doing plugs it. back in the seventies. Yeah. <laughs> I will say this: like Pacino's face, I don't understand how it changes throughout the seventies. Because like it's like Godfather to like Serpico to like Scarface. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like he got plastic surgery or something. I, something, I don't know. Like, but now he looks like now. Yoda well, or and that's, something. That's the, <laughs> like, like, he's like, uh, uh, he looks like. No, know, and, looks and that's what's <laughs> okay. So the, to stay on the ending scene, he that that was shot like at the time, right? In 1974, like mm -hmm. Al Pacino yeah. looked like the young Al Pacino, they, but yeah. the, the the young Michael. And they gave Tom before. more hair. They did. <laughs> and oh, okay, hey, good to know. I noticed they gave him more hair. I didn't notice he that. More hair. No, but I actually in the, was like in the, back, in the flashback. In the scene? flashback, okay. yeah. Seeing that scene was just like this stark realization that, like, wow, like him being in this role aged the fuck out of him. You know, yeah. even if it was what seven years, I, I don't know how much time really passes. The, but the first Godfather doesn't it go through like ten years of time? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's insane. Just, this movie, I feel like this movie is like a decade, maybe even more. Oh, it's, really? Well, it's, oh, total. Okay. I thought it was only like, like a few years. Like from beginning Maybe a year. Just because, you know, that the, the has the whole like congressional hearings and the Cuba uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of that shit makes happens. sense. Hmm. I, I don't think know, it goes through some right. time. That was my impression. Okay. Yeah. Dude, okay. I had to rewind the very last part because it looked like as it zoomed in on Mike's face, it looked like he got older. And I was like, is this just supposed to be like, oh my God, like he's. It's, time is just passing and nothing's changing. Oh, okay. But I don't think it did. No, I think uh, he was just back at that same lake house or the yeah. the boat but house. He was older, right? And he was he older. It was years. Older. It was years later, and he was just. And he's reminiscent, you know. sipping, reminiscent. Yeah. So my question, maybe I'm reaching here. Uh -oh. Something weird about that last scene. So so why didn't he want to go say what's up to his daddy on his birthday? Well, okay, and that, that why is he being a dick? That's an interesting thing because at that at the table, uh, you have what's his name? Tom? Is that the lawyer's name? Yeah. yeah. Tom yeah. is talking to Michael after Michael says that he's joining the or he joined the military. Yeah. He says, "Oh, you, your father and I. We, you know, we have great. We we have like such a future plan for you." Yeah. And he was like, "You and my father. We're talking about my future." Like yeah. he's like defensive about it. He's like, this is my yeah. thing, you know? And, and that's, what's so crazy about all of part two is him trying to fill those shoes of his father. But before he's like that, he, he didn't want anything want to do anything. with that, yeah. but he just yeah. gets sucked in. And yeah, I think it was just like animosity to his dad is just like, oh, okay. that's not the future I want. I don't want to be like him, but in part two, he, he's doing everything that he can to be yeah. like him. But, but even I feel worse. Like, I feel like if you were, the guy who's chosen to like take over the reins of the family mob like there's probably you're probably button heads with the other guy you know what i mean <laughs> yeah like inherently if you're if they think you can do it then you're probably gonna just like be like fuck you dad you know what i mean <laughs> fuck you dad stuff that he does i'm gonna go kill nazis yeah. like sonny is not gonna do that you know he was like all about the family and his dad and shit and like uh, maybe it was too soft i don't know and Tom is like not allowed because it's right, not in the family. Yeah. But Fredo the is just this, a Fredo's a dumb dumb. Dumbass. Yeah. At the end of part two, he's kind of more of a family member than Fredo at that point. You know, yeah. that yeah. was interesting. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I I think it was just like uh, they probably never really got along that well yeah. or on that level. Okay. And being pissed off like ten seconds before because yeah. they had planned something out for him that he didn't want to do. Right. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That. 
that reaction makes more sense. To and me. they wrote it the last day because <laughs> Marlon Brando didn't show yeah, up. So they're like, was... we'll just leave Michael at the table. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and five minutes before the cameras turned yeah. on, everything changed. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah. Okay, so the ending, did you guys feel like it was out of nowhere and all of a sudden the credits were showing? No, I, I was ready for it. Yeah, I was I ready for it. It felt like it could have went on forever. I feel like. Well, maybe I mean, because it was it three hours long. Well, right. <laughs> but I mean, like, the way that it's. He's over here pausing it. We have an hour left. <laughs> Shit, fuck. The way that it goes on, it's like, it feels like a show or something that goes on for a long fucking time. Yeah. And then when it just ends, it doesn't feel like the climactic moment to end on. It, or yeah. it doesn't feel yeah. like the moment to end on. It doesn't. To, to have Fredo's death be like the climax and Frankie cutting his wrists open. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to compare it to the first one. The I first one is just like... Well, no, like, but we can. And, and I think that it's that's just too still, fucking epic. The first still, one is... Okay, the first insane. one's ending, I would say, is like unbeatable. Like the yeah. just the way he was literally baptizing a child while becoming the actual godfather was masterfully done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But like at the end of this movie, he's kind of doing the same thing. He He's... All of these hits are being fulfilled. Carried out. Carried yeah. out by his command. And, and it's... Yeah. It's not as like poetic as the first one, mm-hmm. but yeah. there is still some poetry. Like when he's talking about how the people would kill themselves, the chairs would kill themselves, yeah. and the families would be okay. Like when they set all that up. Yeah. And when he's doing the Hail Mary or whatever. Yeah, when he's Hail Mary on the boat. Yeah. And uh, fucking Roth gets blasted in the airport. Like all that shit oh, is yeah. intense. And the only thing that I thought of, because it is like the first one, it does end similarly mm-hmm. in that way. Yeah. But I was just like, he's fucking getting away with it again, dude. Like, yeah. He can't get, you know? get it away he's with it. Getting away with it. Here I go years. killing again. Yeah. 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 And I thought it, it is, was cool. It is. And it is nice. Because like, cause like the whole Frankie speech about how, you know, you, you, you live this life, you end up alone. Or you end up, you either end up dead or in prison for the rest of your life right i think yeah. he says that earlier in the mm-hmm. movie which is funny but like even even like um like when don don vito goes back to italy that dude's just like a fucking yeah he's, just so he's like a vegetable and, almost yeah. he's yeah. old and he's like decrepit and almost dead and yeah. jacqueline pointed something out was that in the beginning of the movie, you notice that that like vineyard he lives in, it's all lively and it's all beautiful. Oh. At the end of the movie, or, or at the when he kills the old man, yeah, it's all fucking dead. It's like, like a couple guards yeah. there, not like yeah. It's like this is like all your life is gonna be you, to all me, your yeah. friends and or whoever it is. You become so like paranoid. Mm-hmm. You end up alone. You or end up alone. Like two yeah. weeks. To do what you yeah. were doing, and you know, yeah, you know? yeah, it's at yeah. the point where he's killing his brother, like he's yeah. done. There's there's nothing else, or oh, no one else he could trust at that point. Yeah, right? yeah. James, I would have thought you would have loved this ending. <laughs> this is like pitch black. It it it's, and it really and it hammers home that I mean, it, Michael's Michael's alone. And he's I know, yeah, yeah, but I think that's I think I comparing it back to the first movie, I think. I think what you saw with the closing of the door, that hurt so much more. Yeah. I think. Oh yeah. I think we didn't. That's that's why I'm going back to saying that. Did we actually need this? Like, he's already deep down, but he just keeps going more and more and more. And I, and I don't know. Yeah. Like I, I trust me. I enjoyed it, but I <laughs> but I felt that the first one is just so. Mwah. It's just so. Yeah. It yeah. just hits well, we, different. We it did just get hits a different. little I don't know. again taste of the closing of the door when yeah. she's trying to visit the kids. Yeah. Oh yeah, he got yeah. He closes literally closes like, it again. Get, yeah, you know, he doesn't even say anything yeah. to her. Dude, I thought like, he was gonna be like, "Go kiss your mother." Or something. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. what I thought too. Just and cold as fuck, cold. dude. Yeah, yeah, that's oh what I thought God. too. Yeah, and 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 and, and that was your door closing, man. Yeah, and and they do that a few different times, like with Fredo, like at the funeral scene, like mm. you you almost think there's gonna be an inkling of yeah. like Fredo's gonna be okay, even though Remorse, he probably yeah. deserves to die. <laughs> Mike is changing, like he says he can. Yeah, dude, yeah. no way. When I saw that their mom died, I was like, Fredo. Well, they he's just hug? over his know. mom's dead body, literally. <laughs> just dude, like, yeah. it doesn't even matter. I was like, uh, he's fucking gone because he dude, said yeah. earlier. No, I know. As soon but, as my mom is dead. No, he says like he's not. He's not. He's not gonna be killed when mo- when mother's alive or something. Yeah, yeah. but like the but... hug, I was like, okay, yeah. Mike's changing. Well, you know, the kiss of death, like, I dude, guess. the literal kiss when he's yeah. like, Fredo, I knew it was you. You broke my oh, heart. Oh yeah, and dude. then they just mac, mac, they straight <laughs> up they just mac. Straight mac. That's an Italian you thing, but that was. 
Shit, fuck, maybe I, mean, I should. He killed his brother, though. Yeah. 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 He yeah. killed his brother. Yeah. The yeah. No. It's dark. And, well, that's far more transgressive than anything that happened in the first movie. Okay, but like, and the, the other thing is that Fredo betrayed him in the first movie too, right? He's doing all that fucking. I don't even remember Fredo with Mo Green. Is that right? He was doing all yeah. that stuff with yeah. Mo Green in the background, yeah. trying to do the Vegas stuff. Well, and that, the that I think that's like also. So what, it was like you already knew Fredo was gonna be a piece of shit. Yeah. He was already. A, like, he was just. I think in the first movie he was just weak. Yeah. Like, he was just weak in front of Mo Green. Right? Yeah. He, it wasn't that he exactly traded on him. Against, yeah. It was more that. He just wasn't a—he wasn't a hard ass like he needed to be to defend the family's interests. Mm. Right. True. Yeah, I think it's like it's the it's the pressure of my my baby brother oh, has yeah. been decided to yeah. over me, carry yeah. things over. Yeah. Well, no, they they show that so clearly at like the lake house. That yeah. that was such a great scene. One of my favorites where there Michael is yeah. talking to Fredo, like yeah. just. He's all and and you just in the chair. you kind of have Fuck some sympathy brother. for Fredo like he's living in the shadow of his younger brother he's like right. you know Michael tells him like I always take care of you Fredo and he's like you you take care of me my like, kid brother my kid brother yeah I'm smart <laughs> I, everyone thinks I'm stupid yeah. Yeah, well let's not get ahead well, of Fredo, Fredo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hate to break it to you yeah, yeah but you you get why you know you get why Fredo would make that decision because he's not very bright and he wants to have something for himself Yeah, because he yeah. didn't get the chair. And this is what I'm talking about when I say that everything is kind of pulled together so well. Is like, you know these characters. You know that Fredo is mm -hmm. not that smart. You know that Michael is a fucking crazy guy. You know that Vito is like a hard ass. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like those, there's a lot of people that say like, the best movies have like characters, right? They're based yeah. around characters that are like real and or feel real and and are extreme in some cases. And I think they do a great job of that here. For like sure. everybody oh, yeah. is so distinct, and the yeah. names like you got to learn the names. And once you learn them, like it makes sense, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's that's, epic. that's what's so cr yeah. It's epic, dude. It's like, an epic. Between both of these movies, it's like, oh shit, Tom, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like you know who he is When he came back I was like oh shit It's Tom yeah. Like I know yeah. this person yeah, He was the lawyer. best in the first movie Yeah like, like, he, was, he was like just I know what's going on with this guy Like yeah. I want to see more of him Like yeah Yeah I love that I'm not, yeah. Yeah. He's the only motherfucker That can get something done Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. okay So when he When he passed over the Don To Hagen What Was it just for the moment While he was, was in Miami Yeah I think it was okay. a temporary Okay, okay. Yeah Leave of sense. absence Yeah it was, Yeah while he was doing all that. What did you guys think about all that uh, Fidel and all that kind of stuff? The Cuba stuff? Was that, it. it was like out of left field for me. It felt oh, like I was like, oh, shit. I mean, it was like kind of just crazy. timed around the revolution, yeah. the Cuban well, revolution. The, the, dude, the mob, they owned all the casinos in Cuba before the revolution. That was like, oh, so he was just checking up on his sense. casinos? Or what? Yeah, because at the yeah. court hearing, or they he was say... trying to you... get into it because, because it was... It was um, it was like a playground. It was it was like Roth. It was Roth. Yeah. It was Roth stuff, and he was he trying to get in on, in Havana because it was easy because the government had their back, right? And okay. that was another thing where, like, when Michaels talks talks about the rebels, like how they could win, that was kind of his um, hesitation to make the investment because that right. was what the whole deal mm -hmm. was: is like making the investment for the casinos out there. And he's like, I don't know if you guys have this rebel thing under control. So it, yeah, yeah, that yeah, was him yeah, kind yeah. of showing that a little bit. But by that point, he already knew Roth was out was out to out for yeah. his head yeah. yeah so weird how yeah. weird do you have to be to just keep like dabbling with a man that wants your life keep your enemies closer bro damn yeah. oh there he's it is freak. keep your friends close freako dude he's a freak okay <laughs> the biggest thing that bugged me about uh -oh. this movie how are you gonna mention vegas and not even show vegas <laughs> baby where <laughs> Where's the casinos? Where's the strip? Well, I want to see, uh, dude, back in that day, like, yeah. oh, I bet you because it was filmed in the seventies, they couldn't have get it like looking. Yeah, and, and also maybe. Vegas wasn't Vegas then. Like it was, it, it's become a thing. They didn't it have was, air conditioning, right? Like, it, it was. Yeah. You know, Cuba was like that. Yeah. Cuba was crazy like that before oh. the revolution. Oh, okay. Is that the actual? I don't know the like origin story behind vegas like was it literally a middle ground to get to the west coast Meyer, uh, no not Meyer Lynch, Bugsy Siegel. so this, it was just it was a it was nevada was just like 
they had all these laws that allowed prostitution and gambling, and mobsters. The mob they, was they, like, they, they all right. They made a shitload of money there. Yeah. And they set up shop. They built Vegas. Mobsters built Vegas. That's, that's awesome. Not, that's so sick. That's why it's dude. <laughs> and, that, I love it. and see, I don't know. Maybe I just. I just want to see it. I want to see it. Maybe I even should watch we didn't casino. have the technology. Yeah, maybe I should yeah. watch Casino. Yeah, I know they didn't have the technology, but I I don't know. I just wanted like a cool, fucking blackjack poker game or something like some crazy shit. <laughs> Somebody gets yeah, killed over cards easy. or something. A few yeah. guys play Hearts. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't know what Hearts is, but it's a card game. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> there's a scene. But yeah, but yeah. It didn't give you the whole Vegas experience. Yeah, yeah, and and. and but at the end of the movie, you're like, okay, it's three hours long. <laughs> yeah. Did you want another Vegas? Trip? Yeah. No, no. no, no. It would have turned into four in, hours. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It would have turned into the Star Wars <laughs> movie where they go to the the Vegas planet and oh, it's pointless. Oh, <laughs> yeah, baby, Vegas, baby. Oh, that was just man. Yeah, baby. <laughs> um, all right. So I, yeah. I want to go back to some of the acting and specifically like Al Pacino. Just how well seeing seeing him like briefly at the end of the movie as young Al Pacino before he's the Don mm -hmm. and just like that was just this crazy this crazy thing to, to see where he's like he's this young innocent guy kind of thing but it was just such good storytelling where as the movie's going on like you just see the grit and you just see like how how stressed the fuck out he is like every scene where he's rubbing his eyelids is just like i don't know it just felt so i was like oh god that's it's just like relatable granted i'm like working in a warehouse or some shit it's like not yeah, not that stressful but you know i'm just like oh, i feel you yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get it i don't know where you got like how do you guys feel about al pacino like oh and and that's the kind of the big thing because marlon brando as the don I think it's it's unbeatable, maybe you know, like it. <laughs> but Al Pacino as the Don, like, how do you guys feel about how he fit that role? Not only as like a character, but like just as Al Pacino as an actor, how he fit into those shoes of having to to fill that. I mean, I, I I'll go first on that question. I think uh, for me, it's I think the acting is good because it's hard to like the role feels like it was filled by Michael mm -hmm. and the fact that like he is, you know, the person playing Michael, but like, I didn't really think of it as like Al Pacino at any point. And maybe that's just because I haven't seen a lot of shit with Al Pacino because yeah. he's like a, an yeah. older actor. But like, I think the fact that like the two movies married so well and, and even the like constant juxtaposition to Vito, I, I mean, it feels like it's solid. I yeah. don't think it's like he's not a Marlon Brando. He's not going to beat Marlon Brando. But right. I think it's... it's. But when he like, pops off, he pops off. Yeah, and it's it's smooth as silk. Like, it fits almost perfectly. And, like, what I would, what I would say to that is he's not going to be a Marlon Brando because Michael isn't a Vito. Right. Right? So exactly. Like it, and so it just works, mm -hmm. I think. Separating the character from the actor is difficult in right. this instance but I, but I think that's a good thing for the actor no yeah it, it really works and yeah. I don't know maybe we'll just call that intentional like maybe Al Pacino <laughs> couldn't go all the way there because Michael couldn't right and right mm -hmm. yeah I think he played Michael perfectly because Michael wasn't Vito like you're exactly yeah. yeah yeah totally agree with what Jay said and do you think that it, going back to the ending scene he's living his life with regret yeah, I mean, well, that 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 goes stay into the, the school, very kids. Yeah, don't, in, don't go kill Nazis. Stay in the, the, well, the, that's the moral of the story. Killing Nazis yeah. wasn't his issue. I think he was fine with <laughs> killing Nazis. Don't yeah. run a mob, kids. Yeah, don't. And run like a he's mob. and he is like sort of recluse and just kind of strictly business. Yeah, but like weird. so much so that he's left with nothing, no yeah. family, yeah. no yeah. nothing, you know. Yeah. Gosh, it goes overboard where something. he just can't trust anyone and it's just like but it could be like i mean eh, this is, might be a stretch but maybe that's what he wanted like when he was going to the military just get away from getting everybody. away yeah. mm. pushing people away i'm sure yeah, yeah. hoping to get land yeah which is interesting because like the mob is all about family right and michael is the mob boss but still finds a way to push everyone away from him and his most trusted person is not even blood related Right. And, and yeah. even, even then, like even Tom, there's, you know, those little 
sprinklings of like Michael trusts him, but he still has one eye on him, you yeah. know, where he's just like, oh, are you going to go move over to Vegas with your, with your, out. yeah, oh, with gosh. your mistress oh, yeah. and your wife? And he's like, well, he's am like, I supposed to tell me, you every Michael. offer? Yeah. <laughs> Why you hurt me, Michael? Am I supposed yeah. to tell you every offer I refuse? But it's just like, Damn. and that's, that's just Michael saying like, I fucking see everything. Damn. You know, what a dick. and he can't even he's, trust him. Michael yeah, yeah. sucks. He has a difficult time <laughs> He's such a people. complex character, and like that's that's what she. I don't know. I think that's what you want in a good story. Is like sucks. such a complex. Think about um, Vito as a leader and Michael as a leader, and like yeah. what's missing and what's there. The respect. The respect. I think it's the family. So like so like in the in the in the Godfather, you see. The very first scene is at the wedding, but the very mm -hmm. first big party here is like this conglomerate for like the state of nevada like yeah they it's got communion. senators and stuff the senator. but it's like not the fam like the family's right. there but right. it's not celebrating like the family the yeah. family it's not a wedding what is it i don't even know what it it's is a communion for the kid for his oh kid. It, is that the first one? Oh, yeah. okay yeah but it doesn't even, it doesn't feel that way it doesn't no, yeah, you're right. You're it doesn't right. feel that way. Well, it, it feels it's very, it's very like it's transactional. It's, it's, it's transactional. It's corporate. It's yeah. corporate. It's like a show and, for the other, the not family. Yeah. And they show like, you know, the, like the photo op, you know, where they're like yeah. taking pictures yeah. next to the and check. Not, and next to the check. Very trying. scripted. Whereas, you know, in Godfather Part 1, the opening scene, the Don is actually like enjoying everyone's happy company. He's yeah. happy. He's part of yeah. that. Yeah. And that's what's like so different between the two. It's like. Yeah, it's like you. Don't, but all you, of that is so calculated. Yeah, like, you. It, he's. It's like Michael's working for the man. Whether rather, Don is the man. Yeah, he's the man, and he's helping like this community. You know, he's. What what was what was the? I mean, he's like helping bakers. He helped a lady with the dog. He did all this and that. Yeah, but Michael's like in it for himself, well, I, and that's why. And he and the, he thinks that it's for his family. I think that's really where the himself. relationship is complex because, yeah, the movie's kind of open the same way, which was really interesting. Yeah, it's like yeah. a party I mean, yeah. with this business yeah. in the back type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. But they don't feel the same. And, you know, I think it goes back to the Don, the Vito is like, he built this fucking city and Michael is like, I have to keep the ship running. You know? Exactly. And you feel those, those feelings through the way that they interact with the people that they're doing business yeah. with or whatever. Vito created Michael needed to sustain to try to keep everything held together. And that's yeah. like the yeah. big difference I think between them as Dons. Right. Because Vito came from nothing, you know. He literally came from nothing and yeah, Michael came from everything and had to keep mm -hmm. all of it together. James, I, I think you nailed it, dude. I think you're 100% right. I don't really? think so. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, just 90%. <laughs> no, 100%. Because, like, yeah, it is corporate, right? Yeah. And, like, who wants to run through a wall for some corporate asshole, right? Like, yeah. mm -hmm. Vito, he did all the little things that you have to do to get people to follow. Yeah. And, like, follow happily, right? Like, right. Michael is just thinking short term and he's like, okay, well, what do I got to do? To corporate, do? corporate, exactly. legal, legal, make sort of happen, legal. Make this happen, yeah. make this happen, and not like pay the piper you know to where like people actually like him and people do shit for him and follow yeah. him right? right yeah 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 but i mean that's i think that makes it a pretty fucking good movie i know oh yeah like, the fact that we've gone this deep into no yeah we're already almost you know, an hour in. i don't even we're... know what I'm, I'm thinking of scores uh, and i'm gonna be 100 percent honest i think i should have gave the godfather a higher score the first the one. What did you give it? It's in the Hall of Fame. I think I gave it a solid nine. I, I think it's too. more than it's that. Probably, oh yeah. I think it's more than that. I don't know what I gave the first one. I, don't I said know I was going to look is. it up. But if that's a nine, what is this? I don't know. I don't yeah. fucking know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, and, and that brings up that brings up an interesting point, James, is like <laughs> like a lot of people say, like my my girlfriend was talking to one of her coworkers about like, oh yeah, my, my boyfriend's doing uh, The Godfather Part 2 on his podcast. And yeah. like her coworkers like, oh my, that... The Godfather Part Two, it's better than the first one. Yeah. Like, people are so excited about yeah. Part Two, which is you don't hear that a lot. I know. My like, mom told me so this was rare. my grandpa's favorite movie. Her dad. Yeah. Yeah. Like part a Part Two, two like being he was that good. In that world. good. Yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, I see it. And yeah. that's what I'm wondering. I'm just like, I don't know. I, I, yeah. And I and I said something controversial. Did, would did this movie need to be made? I don't know. I don't know if I believe that. Most I had fucking fun well, watching it. 
Yeah. Had, and it's it's masterfully created. Yeah. But but I don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> <But> I, don't <laughs> know. <laughs> I literally don't know what else to say. I don't know. What I don't know, to James. To quote it. you from our <laughs> first episode of The Godfather, I think was it The Godfather where you said the word comes to mind is masterpiece. It, yeah, it was. Ah, and and honestly, I, I agree with you on Godfather Part One, but Part Two, I can't say anything less. This is this also feels like a masterpiece. It it it, it feels right there. It feels like for me, it I feels don't like a masterpiece, but I don't <laughs> think it is. If yeah, that makes sense. Like it and feels some, like it's supposed yeah. to be. There's this gravitas to it. But I never got no, there. No, and I get that too. And that's the thing. Like before watching the movie, I was like, oh God, like I'm going to have to talk all kinds of oh, flowery language about how amazing this movie is. But like everything that I've, for itself everything mostly, that I've said, like I genuinely mean, like I genuinely believe yeah. this about this film. Like, and it, I have to apologize to Alonzo here because I was making, even though I picked this movie for yeah, this week, yeah. I was like, fuck my life. I don't want to watch this movie. And Alonzo was like, fuck, I wish that. Watching The Godfather Part Two was my chores, and I was yeah. like, "Okay, but, but, <laughs> it's a but, long movie. But We're busy, guys." I mean, after watching it, I was like, "Fuck!" It just felt like I was watching a TV show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it felt fine. Yeah, like, TV show that ended too soon. Maybe there's a part three. There's, there's a part, part three. three. Yeah, yeah strap that? in. <laughs> Which is supposedly terrible. Not there, there was a re-edit great. that came out last year, wasn't there? Yeah, this year. Yeah, I mean. Is that better? I don't yeah, know. Who knows? You guys should watch it. All right. Well, yeah. we're not going to watch it. Unless <laughs> show, gonna... James will pick I'm... it in like 78 more episodes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that way we really don't Tune know in what the for episode going 140. On. Yeah. Michael who? <laughs> Michael, huh? Yeah. Um, all right. So just before we, like, we wrap things up, there was a couple of scenes that I wanted to talk about to kind of maybe get clarity for myself because I watched this movie yesterday. Um, what's the guy's name? Is it? Pentangeli, what what is his name? Frankie, Frankie, Frankie Pentangeli. Yeah, yeah. So he was the one who was in the bathtub with the slit wrists, right? Yeah. Like after the conversation he had with Tom, it was it with Tom? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was he just like, all right, yeah, I guess I'll kill myself. Yeah, like, it what? was like it felt like Tom was telling him to. Oh, he was yeah. like, okay. think about it like this: like you're gonna, uh, you're doing it with honor, basically. Like you're yeah. gonna go either way, do it yourself. Some well, Harakiri vibes. They to, link uh, it back to like it was like emperors or something. Yeah, and if somebody did them wrong, mm-hmm. if you killed yourself, your family would be fine. And that's what uh, he says. And he's like, yeah. and we'll take care of your family. Like, don't worry about right. that. It's, it's Harakiri. Yeah. yeah, that's what. I, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, and then the governor, or no, no, not the governor, the, the senator. senator. So I was reading through some some things about this movie, and the senator was framed for that murder. Did you guys catch that? Yeah, it looked like they drugged him and like planted him there. I like he totally was like, what the, the fuck with is the hooker, going on? right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I totally yeah. didn't catch that. And you yeah. know, okay. Jacqueline I, was like, damn, they're sly as fuck. She was like, that's so yeah. hard. She was like, yeah. And like the fact that it. he was just like, I have no memory of doing any of this. We've done this thing thousands of times. And I'm yeah. like, it looks like you like cut her in half. Like she's yeah. bleeding everywhere. But, and I hate this about myself, but so much of the pop culture references that I understand from older things family. are from Family Guy. Family Guy. <laughs> Is that from? And well, yeah, there's an episode where Family, or where Peter, he, um, he gets into the tobacco industry and he's like trying to convince some senators not to put some ban or whatever. <laughs> and they're at a strip club and and one of the senators is like, oh my God, oh my God, I don't know what happened. I don't know how she died. And Peter's just like, you may have killed her when you hit her over the head with a chair. You may have killed her when you stuffed all those dollar bills down her throat. But I'll tell you what didn't kill her, smoking. And it's, just, <laughs> and it's like, I was like, holy shit, that's where it's from. It's, Zing. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. The things that I didn't catch that you did and like things you didn't catch that I did. It's funny. It's, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's so, oh, man. It's so great. That's funny. But uh, okay. So we can agree that the first one has way more zingers. And I think the first second one has the one first one has, one has it has more memorable the scenes. The first one does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's what you're afraid of. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, kissing sure. the homies to Kiss. tell them they are going to wrong die. you. About to yeah. Because like, okay, like. <laughs> Just really quick, thinking about the scenes that really stand out in, the, in part two are wrapping the pistol, like wrapping the gun oh around God. the towel and the, it catching on oh, yeah. fire. And then like the oh, yeah, boat scene, nuts. like, you know, it, it does have those like very memorable scenes, but I yeah. just don't think that it, None of them look like I don't think that it quite gets there to part one. Just the, yeah. the opening scene where he's, you know, he's like considering that hit or whatever, like 
that's just so good. I don't know. There's just a lot in part one that just really stick in your head. Maybe yeah. it's because I watched it a little longer ago, but part two doesn't quite have that, which is the one negative thing that maybe I'll say. And yeah. it's not a negative thing. It's still a great story, but you know, it just didn't resonate yeah. as well with pop yeah. culture. Maybe. Well, I feel yeah. like that's like an iconic, like that's like a, yeah, I'm not saying that the part two doesn't have, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. That, that, that that's not something like, I remembered coming here. Okay. Really? I, I don't know. Say, that scene is like iconic. I mean, like I remember it, but like it wasn't dude, like. Dude, they kiss for like twenty seconds, dude. <laughs> it lasts forever. It does last a long time. Kiss no, he's like homies. hugging him, and then he's like grabbing his face. So intense, forcefully. Oh, yeah. And then they mac, and then you're just like, "Well, that happened. It's sick." Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. When in, f- I was about to say when in France. When in Sicily. <laughs> when in <laughs> Sicily. <laughs> yeah. Or they were in. I they were in Cuba. Cuba. Cuba at that time. <laughs> when in, when in one of nine locations. Yeah, over movie. over from 1901 to 1965. Then. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. What else do you got? Do you guys have any rounding thoughts that you want to talk about before we get into ratings? I don't think I so. I don't wrap this through. Hold hold my peace. Till now, when you go first. I'm not going first. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who wants to go first? I'm not going. I haven't went first in a while. I can't. You should go. I don't want to go first because I'm just, you're going to laugh. <laughs> I'm going to laugh at you. Why would I laugh at you, Darren? What, just what ask, this ask, guy ask. stupid. What kind of friend do you think <laughs> I am? I don't know. I just, All right. Uh, we're amongst friends here. We got, we got six yeah. in the chat. We're good. Let's go, baby. <laughs> All right. Godfather Part 2. I think just straight away what I love about this movie is what I mentioned in the beginning of this episode is that it doesn't feel like it holds your hand through the film. And, but at the same time, you just really kind of understand what's, what's happening. You have you all under- that context too. Yeah. You, and, and like, you know, like I said, like you, you maybe don't even need to see the first one, watch the first one. Cause I, I will say it's, it's yeah, I was saying, we'll say it's better than the second one, but not by much, like not by much at all for me. And the second one, like doesn't need the first one to explain everything for you because it kind of doesn't that one's not really holding your hand either and that's kind of just a thing about maybe storytelling in the 70s compared to where we are now but yeah i think the transition from seeing the the young vito corleone kind of rise to power like that was just it, it was so entertaining to watch and while i was watching the film like i think that was so much more um, engaging like I was so much more attached to that but after after watching it and like thinking about it I'm remembering more and making more connections about Michael rising to power or not rising to power but being in power and his experience like coping with that and handling that because there's just there's just a lot more to kind of unpack there with that whereas mm-hmm. watching it you know watching it live or whatever it's, it's like Vito I don't know you, you just get to see how he is, how he becomes who he is. And Michael, I don't know. There's, it's, it's, he's such a complex character. And I think, you know, what we were talking about earlier with Ken, you know, who is the better Don? Is it Marlon Brando? Is it Al Pacino? I, I think both of them are like right there. They, they play their roles so well. And like Al Pacino couldn't, couldn't be a better Don because Vito was a better Don than Michael was. And like that relationship and how that's, how that's shown on screen is just, it's, it's amazing. Like, it's just, it's such good storytelling. Um, the lighting in this movie, I don't know much about like cinematography and like actually filming and making a movie, but you just watch this and you just feel like, holy shit, this just feels right. There's just something, there's a feeling, there's an undertone yeah. Almost the entire time where you're like, this is done right. This is how a film like this needs to be made. Um, you know, I think to compare it a little bit to the first one, I think, yeah, maybe the first one does have a little bit more memorable scenes, more like iconic scenes, but the second one isn't shy of those either. This, the second one has that. And I don't know, before I go too far into rambling on, this movie is beautiful the storytelling everything the acting it's amazing it's almost as good as the first one i i wish i knew what i rated the first one (laughs) but like this 
this one just easily feels like a 9.5 out of 10. Damn. Wow. Well, yeah. That's where I'm at with it. Top is the top tier. Wow. It's high up there. It's there. Who wants to take it over next? One of these haters over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll do take it. it. Oh, you want to take it? No, you just didn't want to go first. You guys. Oh, I just didn't want to go first. Okay. That's all. Go, I just go, wanted. Go. To, just wanted somebody to set the tone so I could bring it down. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna go like this. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I hear myself twice. <laughs> My bad. Sorry about uh, that. No. Oh. No. No. Um. Yeah. Uh. It's it's hard to say anything after what he just said, but um, this movie does. I don't know. When I was watching, this, that's why I had to apologize to this <laughs> man over here. <laughs> because when I was watching the movie, I felt nothing but in rapture. I was just, I was like wrapped in this Sucked movie, in, yeah. like instantly, instantly. And when they, when they bring back the names, just, just the way that they movies one and two complement each other is fucking kind of weird because this whole second movie is juxtaposition, but they're like, let's juxtaposition this with the first movie too it's like yeah yeah you like juxtaposition yeah. i'll <laughs> juxtaposition while you juxtaposition <laughs> and they do it so well that it's just it it takes you on this this ride and maybe it's three hours long <laughs> maybe more three and a half maybe it's three hours three and, and some change but like it's it's interesting it it Something about it, you're you're just wondering. You want to peel all the potatoes and like peel and the like, orange, maybe. Yeah, you might want to peel an orange or two. Um, but like, I don't know. My my 2021 brain wanted to see more action, more casino scenes, more death, more this and more that. But like, it was like it didn't need that. You just you're just getting this story, and it just felt like a really fucking good TV show, and and. It's just a treat to watch. It, like, like there's so many different little things that you can do. You could just go on characters. Yeah. But then you got the fucking shots. You got the music. You got all the little things. We didn't even talk about the music, yeah. You got all these little things that make it, make these characters seem so fucking real. Like in the first scene, when I guess it was a baptism. Communion. Communion. It was a communion. Was it a communion? Yes, I think so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Have you guys did a first communion? Yes. I yeah, no. against my will, kind of. But we'll yes, get into that later. <laughs> um, <laughs> Not I. Uh, like when you see Frankie go up to the band, and he's like, "Like it's just like fuck." This guy is like a real person that would do that. Just like your drunk ass uncle, your drunk uncle, yeah, fucking yeah. up, fuck it on the stage, just being a fucking clown. Yeah. yeah, but like he's so real. He's so it's just so real. Everybody felt so real. We didn't even talk about Diane Key and her cold ass, dude. Yeah, dude. Imagine, abortion. Ass. I got an abortion. An yeah. abortion. An that abortion. Was- Dude, imagine, Gosh. imagine like having so much animosity to somebody that you're gonna fucking abort your child being was, married because you Michael don't want Corleone. them to become in the in the original. Really quick, in the original script, she actually did have a miscarriage, but the actor who plays Connie says, "What if she had an abortion to just spite him even further?" And they, and were, like, like, they were like, "Yes, damn. that's the yes. better cold, yes. bro. Yeah. That, that was shit was nuts. so fucking cold." Yeah, like, that compared was, to because Michael, she didn't want to bring another. Compared man. to Michael, what do you mean? <laughs> She's married to Michael Corleone. I don't know. I get it. I don't. Oh, so you say she she was justified in in yeah, She's that, trying and that, to stop and that's and that's what and that's what She's was crazy. That that the whole the whole monologue that um. Michael does when he's like, he's like, look at me. He's like, you really think that you can get these kids away from me? Yeah. Just come on, so babe. Was scary. Come on, scary. babe. Like, it was fucked. That shit. You just feel so scared. That like, shit was fucked up. And the more that I think about that, the more I'm like, damn, this movie is like an onion. It's, got like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Yeah. The way that they're just able to have fun with lighting, like the whole light bulb scene to make it part of the action of the movie Mm -hmm. just insane and i know i said this earlier this movie probably didn't need need to be made (laughs) but like it's it's still so good thank god it was so good it's 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 like 
it's like the Godfather, but just a little bit more. Just give you a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Just keep you in this world just a little bit longer. I have no score. I don't know. I'm just oh, yeah. no. trying no to score. rack my brain. I'm stalling. I'm stalling. I'm stalling. <laughs> I'm stalling. Um, I think the first one is just, just incredible. And I, I don't want it to hurt this, the score for this one, but Ugh. I'm just going to say what I feel. I think it's an 8.8. Wow. Okay. 8.8 out I of feel. James. That's what I feel. Who wants to go next? (laughs) Go ahead. I'm gonna. I want to go because I don't want to end on a bad note. Yeah, me either. Okay, so. Okay, Adrian just walked out, and I feel like he would. I don't know. I just wanted to hear it. We we can (laughs) bail. I just wanted to hear it. Let's bail. We can (laughs) bail. Okay, so this movie i agree was very engrossing when it started and i was like holy shit it's a mirror the first movie they're at a party he's doing deals in the back like i was like this is awesome i cannot wait for the rest of this movie after that i was old man in a fucking couch watching tv i was like i'm I'm engrossed i'm in the world but i am not interested yeah i don't know I would, I, like I said earlier, I don't think I was in the right mood for this. I want to watch it again at some point in my life, not anytime soon, because it's really fucking long. <laughs> but that's what's so weird about this movie, because it's, it held, it's held in such high regard that I can't bring myself to be like, this movie's stupid or blah, blah, blah. I don't think it's like bad or anything. Yeah. But I feel like I have to give it another chance because I'm like, oh, I wasn't there for it. But yeah. like any other movie that I thought was like bad, I would just be like, yeah, it's bad. Whatever. But like this movie, I'm like, I feel like I have to... Try harder. There's a, you there's, know what a, I mean? there's a there's a lot of like anxiety coming into a movie like this, like The Godfather. Because I remember remember I had yeah. that conversation in the first Godfather. I yeah. was like, I was like, are we ready for this? Because <laughs> I was like, are we going to be able to like decently dissect this movie? Like, are we there? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I think we. But were. I get where you. I get where you're coming from. I get that. And like. I don't know. The the first movie is miles better than this movie, I think. It's more straightforward of a story. It's more entertaining. Like, it's just more cohesive, I think. And this movie, sure, like, it's like a choice or whatever, but it's all over the place. I was very confused. I was also very tired, so maybe that's part of it. (laughs) Like, the whole thing with Fredo in the boat, I didn't even know that was Fredo. I didn't recognize him at all. What? I didn't know that was Fredo until the end. We're like, oh, we killed Fredo in the boat. And I was like... That was Fredo. Like, you were you were half asleep at that, but that was Fredo. I don't know. I didn't know that that was Fredo, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. That was okay. It's just it was hard. It was a hard watch for me, and I wasn't super into it, especially because it literally was my whole felt like my whole day yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Got off work, watched it, and then I was like, "Well, it's bedtime." You know what I mean? But I don't know. That's what's so hard is like I don't want to put that against it because I think this movie is masterfully made. If anything, like the acting is some of the best acting I've ever fucking seen, ever. Especially, you're saying like he only wants One to do take. a couple takes or yeah, whatever. Couple takes. He only can do a couple takes is like, and they got these performances out of it is mind blowing. It's nuts. So I, I recognize this movie is masterfully made. It just wasn't maybe for me. No, that's okay. And like, you know, you got to rate it at how you feel. Yeah. That's like, fine. Like yeah. the first movie, I still love like a lot. It's one of my favorite movies. Not like a high, but you know. Yeah. This movie just didn't live up to it. I really liked the the younger Vito scenes a lot. Robert De Niro did so fucking good in those yeah. scenes. Oh, I didn't even talk about it. I didn't either. See, I, I didn't I either. Didn't even... Yeah, we didn't have time. There's just so much to... <laughs> yeah. But, like, watching his rise was so fucking interesting. Like, whenever it went back to Michael, I was kind of like, ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, well, yeah. let's get through this to get back to the Vito scene. You know, yeah. it was kind of whatever... <laughs> Because, you know, you're watching someone rise and it's really interesting, but then you're watching someone else fall. <laughs> fall yeah. And, like, just that comparison is what I think makes this movie so good, too, is just seeing that father and son relationship and how they deal with different issues. And I don't know. I thought that was really interesting. It just wasn't as fun to watch the Michael parts of it, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, dude. And then the, the beginning when the oranges showed up, I didn't even, we didn't oh, even talk about man. that. I was we like, didn't talk about the oh, oranges. God, someone's going to die. <laughs> like at the beginning. That's the thing is they don't talk about the oranges. So we they definitely the like played into they it. Did, they leaned they, into that yeah. hard on this yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. It felt like a, a newer trope where it's like, oh, we got to respect the old one. Yeah. Mm. Or he even says like, Robert De Niro has a line that's like, I'll make him an offer I can't refuse, like along those lines. And I'm yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Um, 
I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. I've been thinking about this all day, and I'm like, I don't know how I feel. I don't really feel anything. <laughs> this movie didn't like leave a mark on me like the first one did. Like it's yeah. just not, not as impactful to me. That's fair. That's okay, man. Don't let our no, scores I, like stalling. influence you. No, it's, they're, they're not. I just <laughs> yeah. don't. I'm stalling because I don't know what the fuck to read. <laughs> like I said, I this movie is really well made. This wasn't that interesting. Too fucking long. I don't know, dude. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Spit it out. Oh, an eight, an eight, an eight. Okay, that's fine. That's First fine. one I gave a nine, and I wish it was higher. Look also, what yeah. they did to my boy. I think I would have gave. <laughs> The first one a nine point five, yeah, and maybe I don't know what I gave the first one. I should have looked it up. Yeah. I'm just gonna give it an eight point eight. Because it feels that's right. Because it feels right. All right, Jay, save us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, you know, no, there's no coming back from that. Tan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eleven. You'd have turn to. it up to eleven, Jay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, it, it's hard to say anything that hasn't already been said. It's yeah. a. It's a. It's a. It's a ride. It's three and a half hours, but it, it, for me, it didn't feel like three and a half hours. It didn't. And uh, that was a good thing. Um, the acting is amazing. The, I mean, there's just as a, a movie as a craft, like a making of a movie as a craft, it's like every piece was so well done that none of it feels better than the other. None of you know, not any one thing stands out, which I think is good because it's, it's all good. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't stack up to the first one for me either, but I don't think it's a, like a bad movie or yeah. anything like that. Like yeah. it's really good still, and I don't know what I gave the first one either, and it's probably too low. But like, I don't know. I think that for me, I'm just gonna say a score already because I can't really. <laughs> no, go ahead. Beat the dead horse head. <laughs> Cut a horse and put it in a. 9.0. 9.0? .0. Yeah. yeah. 9.0. The main thing I wanted to say, I fucking already spaced it out. Can't find it. Go ahead, Taryn. I'm so dumb. You have the floor. Um, no, I, I lost it. You lost it. <laughs> he lost it. It's okay. <laughs> All right. So a nine from Jay brings us shy of the Fumbler Hall of Fame, unfortunately. An 8.825. Oh, a good score. That's my score. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good score. That's good. Um, That's a good I don't know. Score. I, I yeah. honestly like we haven't we've never done this, but like way later on, like I would love to revisit this movie. I wish just, I watched it closer to the first. Yeah, time. and just kind of see. I don't know. Just we'll be a little older as like yeah. are we going to call ourselves film critics, quote unquote? You know, yeah. but. But just to see how this, I don't know, just to see other, and yeah, appreciate and other the things thing about this film. Because there wasn't enough time, I would yeah. say. I've seen both movies at least like three times, mm -hmm. but it's been like 15 years. Oh, yeah. right. Could you imagine being a 15-year-old kid? You don't really fucking oh, no. get it. You wouldn't get any of this. You don't get it. I so like do. revisiting is like such a, another yeah. thing yeah. about it. Okay, so I yeah. did remember what I was going to say. What is it? This movie, I wish... It was like modern sensibilities. I wish it, wish it was a fucking TV show. Like and this okay. makes me want to watch The Sopranos so much more because Alonzo did it's they... probably better and it's paced out better because it's yeah. not a fucking movie. It's not tied to this certain time mm -hmm. frame. Alonzo might yeah. know this. Did they cut this up into a short TV series? The Godfather Part Two. They made a separate one, right? One and two. No, yeah, they made a separate one, thing two, that was I, a show. That I know. I think I saw that in passing on my it's shitty a total internet. Separate thing, yeah. That's a oh, it's not series. related to the not with the same actors. I think it is. Wow, is that really interesting. I don't think, think so. A miniseries? Yeah, I doubt. I thought in my shitty internet <laughs> yeah. research that I saw that, but I could well, be talking out of my fat ass. Fact check that. 1977, they made a Godfather saga miniseries directed by Francis Ford Coppola. Wow. It's out came there, out on boys. NBC. Al Pacino. Yeah. It's wow. all the same huh. people. Wow. It's is out it, there, is boys. The is it the same movie? Just cut as a TV show? It says the miniseries that combines The Godfather and The Godfather okay. Part 2 into one yeah. Wow! Uh -huh. We need to watch it. See, well, we need to watch it. So there, that might be that might nine point five on IMDb. That might be, might your, be little, good. Yeah. your little taste of what I, you want. I want to add one thing to all the things you guys said. So yeah. The guy that played the actor that played Fredo is a, a guy named John Cazale. Yeah. Um, and he was in five movies in his whole acting career. He was a theater actor. Oh wow! Five movies in his whole acting career. The Godfather. 
The Conversation, which is another great Coppola movie with Gene Hackman. You guys should totally should watch that. The Godfather Part Two, Dog Day Afternoon, great movie with uh, Al Pacino, and The Deer Hunter, which is also a great movie, 70s, about the Vietnam War. Mm. That's it. And Fredo's in all those? Yeah. You're he, died, saying? he died of lung cancer. Oh, yikes. In Ooh. 1978. Damn! Um, wow, that's right after the the show yeah. came out, and he was in that show. Yeah, his his uh, his girlfriend was Meryl Streep. Oh my God! Wow! Wow! Meryl wow. Streep cared for him as he was dying. Oh Jesus wow! Christ. That's Damn. interesting. Yeah. Yo, this mini series is seven hours long. All right, well, there you but go. But it's a show, so it's okay. You can't commit to a movie for three hours, but you can watch. Dude, Seth. I watched Twin like Peaks. eight hours of Twin Peaks on Sunday. Yeah, like literally. Wow! All right, and you didn't <laughs> invite wow. me. What season? Two. Anyway, okay. anyway, <laughs> so that, uh, yeah, we fumbler score of 8.825. I'm a little disappointed if I'm honest, but uh, maybe we'll revisit this one way later down the line. Harakiri and old oh boy deserve. Yeah. Never a forget more. The, the honorable mentions. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. We'd love to know what you guys think. Hit us up on any of our socials. Find all of those at filmfumblers.com. Tune in next week where we will release, uh, some other random movie that we haven't decided yet. <laughs> yeah. And also watch our new uh, YouTube show. It's called Fumbled Not Stirred. It's on our on our YouTube channel, Film Fumblers, um, where I make some cocktails. We actually and we drink them. Featured one in this episode, <laughs> The Godfather. We got a few more in production, so stay tuned for more of those. But until next time, cheers. 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 See you guys. Cheers. cheers.